sees his four brothers lying apparently dead before him. And Yudhishthira, you know, he has his problems too, you know, it's not all he's cracked up to be because this is the end, but you know, he's basically sane and sensible. And the crane walks up to him and says, before you partake of the pleasures, I'm roughly translating because this is the point, before you partake of the pleasures of the material world, you need to be sure you got your thoughts straight. That's the essence of the crane's question. So we are here in this material world. We eat food. Why do we eat food? Well, nobody's got anything against you eating food because you enjoy it and enjoying the food that you eat. No problem with that. There is a practice that is called tiaga. I sometimes tell my pupils sometimes. Tyaga is translated as renunciation. But it's not quite as simple as renunciation. Renunciation roughly means, Tyaga roughly means, why are you drinking that cup of coffee? Is there any need to be drinking? 24 cups of coffee every day, because I've counted them, that's what you're doing. So Tiaga is when we look at something we enjoy and voluntarily renounce it in order to find out what the relationship is between us and that thing. Now, if you give up drinking your coffee and go, oh my God, I need my coffee again. We have a problem. We, we have a problem. You should identify the problem and say to yourself, if giving up coffee is affecting me like that, then there's a little bit more than simple enjoyment going on here, and I need to do something about it. If you renounce your cup of coffee and you go on perfectly normally, well, I've got news for you. God made many things in this world so that they could be pleasurable, and there's no harm in having a cup of coffee because you enjoy it and it makes you feel good and it helps you face the day. No harm done. As long as you're not going to So, the crane is saying to Yudhishthira, there's a big problem with this material world around you that you may not be aware of. Aware of. It's called dependency. It's called forgetting the true self is called forgetting who you are. And before you drink some of this water, I want you to demonstrate, not to me, but to yourself, that you don't have this enjoyment dependency going on, and that you understand the true nature of this water that you are going to drink in order to fortify yourself. And to do that, I'm going to present you with a bunch of riddles. So, these riddles, they just keep on coming out. And Yudhishthira has to answer them. And one of the questions is, what is the most marvelous or wonderful thing in the universe? And the answer that Yudhishthira gives is that everybody sees death happening all around them. And they all think it's not going to happen to them. Now, is there a bigger wonder than that? <laughs> it is not that you have to walk around saying to yourself, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die today. You are going to die one day. Shiva Rushte. The world belongs to Shiva. He is going to come for you sometime. He is coming for you every second, actually. Guru Strata. And what does the Guru do? The way I'm trying to present this is the Guru is the immune system. When you have a well-functioning immune system, you can fall in that cesspit. You will get out. You will shower yourself. And you will carry on as if nothing has happened. Now, how do we get that? Well, I, I, I only have three stories, <laughs> and 
and tell them over and over and over again. I only know three. My brain is not very big. It can't handle four. So I only have three. So uh, this lady, she bought herself a yoga studio. And unfortunately for me, it was very close to the center of Santa Cruz. So she looked at me and she said, Will you come teach in my studio? And I said, No, and I gave my reasons. I often go away to teach at weekends, and the only time we had was a Friday. And I was always reluctant to have a class on a Friday, because when you keep going away for weekends, your pupils don't have a regular class. And she said, they're very understanding, you have to make friends. She went, oh, oh. And then there's, I don't have a car. So I like to be within walking distance of my classes. And hers was a little bus, she said. Have you heard of a bus? <laughs> she <a> bus. <laughs> so, you know, she, she got everything beautifully sorted out. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I eventually agreed. And so I would sit on this bus every week. 